You know, everybody knows we live in a very divided country today. There's a lot of angry people running around, and not just here in New York, but everywhere. But there's one thing we can all agree on. It is time to cancel the cancel culture. Finally, new rule, liberals need a stand your ground law for cancel culture. So that when the woke mob comes after you for some ridiculous offense, you'll stand your ground. That's some people's job nowadays is to complain and be heard and be offended <laughs> and try to get things canceled. Um, this whole idea of a cancel culture means that you're living in a time where we're just expecting perfection. We can't be so persistent with the search and find and destroy. My problem with canceled is inherently what it means is you are now ousted from our society. We now just cancel everyone. And what that's going to do is it's going to devalue progress. It's going to stop people from wanting to change because they'll be forever cast aside because of their one sin from the past. I think our societies have become harder and less um, understanding, less tolerant, less forgiving. And, and I, I, my question today was, where does forgiveness live in our society? I was just reading about how you know, Gen Z is trying to cancel Eminem because of one line that was in a Rihanna song that he did with her. And I'm just like, is that where we are right now? I mean, at this point, you're talking about the Salem witch trials. I won't stop even when my hair turns gray. I don't just they won't stop until they can yeah. tell me. There's a creepy PC thing out there that really bothers me. How stupid is that cancel thing? They're literally running out of people to cancel. They're going after dead people now. They're trying to cancel John Wayne. It's like, yeah, dude, God did that 40 years ago. I think that the cancel culture thing has just reached a breaking point. Uh, I can't believe how my fellow liberals are behaving. What is liberal about canceling everybody and anything that you don't happen to agree with? People shouldn't be terrified to say what they feel. And I think, it, we, we, what sort of world do we want to live in? Do we want to live in a world where people are frightened and every single part of everything they say is picked apart and, and made to be problematic? Or should people be allowed to express themselves and risk offending other people with their opinions? This idea of purity and you're never compromised and you're always politically woke and all that stuff, I, you should get over that quickly. <laughs> the, world, the world is messy. If I tweet or hashtag, about how you didn't do something right or used the word wrong verb or then I can sit back and feel pretty good about myself because man, you see how woke I was? I called you out. <laughs> that's not activism. That, that's not bringing about change. It's gonna take a little bit of courage, but together, let's cancel the cancel culture. Thanks for watching the Heritage Foundation's YouTube channel. With more than half a million members, we are the nation's largest conservative research and education institution. We believe the principles and ideas of the American founding are worth conserving and renewing. Please help us further our mission by subscribing to this channel and sharing our videos with your family and friends.